Socrates, we like it. Welcome to Soccer As We Like It, the Man United Direction. Today we are doing our vlog edition of a post analysis of the match between Manchester United and Watford. The last home game of the season for the 2017-2018 season. Man United at home, last home game, carried last home game and the last game as a United player. He's going to join the coaching staff of Jose Mourinho. Overall, it, it came across like a pre-season friendly, uh, not a lot of tackles put in because I think United will try not to um, risk injuries, preparing for the FA Cup final next Saturday against Chelsea Football Club. Um, overall, let's get right to it. Overall, United were, it, like I said, it was a game that just felt very pedestrian at times. Uh, players are not being putting tackles in as hard just to want to risk injuries or uh, yellow cards or whatever you want to call it What's not but at the same time United played well enough to get the three points a beautiful over over the uh, over the ball cross from um, uh, Mark Carrick uh, brought the ball was brought down beautifully by Mata and a laid the ball onto uh, uh, Rashford and it was the first goal and only goal of the game could United have scored more goals? Yes, they could have. But at times, United were going forward on the break, high power, high pace. Then they'll stop, turn around, overpass again, and the opportunity has gone. So this is what United were doing literally all through the game. I don't know if they were playing according to instructions, but it was frustrating whereby United had an opening, especially Rashford down the left. He'd gone through, through ball. Instead of running right through and scoring, he'll turn around. Pass, look around, do a 360 dance, try and dribble, and the opportunity is gone and opportunity is lost. Sanchez is Sanchez, losing the ball quite a lot today, which we're now accustomed to. Nothing different, nothing's changed. Um, overall, United, I'll give them a 6 out of 10. Uh, Romero came in today for De Gea, made two beautiful saves to keep United in the game, and another clean sheet for Manchester United. Were the fans expecting more? Definitely they were expecting more, but this is Manchester United 1 0. It, it, it just felt like 1 0 to the Arsenal today. That's how it just felt like. You know, we got the one goal, shot at the shop, tried to score a second goal. Goal never came because the lack of creativity, lack of finishing properly, click, clinically at the final part of the final third of the pitch, and still the one and only goal of the game. If we look at this from a critical angle, um, Mata played well, but it, he was in and out of the game. Mokhtomi played well in the middle. Uh, Michael Carey played well, like the, he played what we call Rolls Royce football, just precise, accurate, nothing over elaboration of the ball. He used his vision well, and that's what created the first and only goal of the game. Uh, Rashford, I'll say, he scored the goal, but he had chances whereby he was his shooting was way off target. His shooting was really woeful today. I don't know what's wrong with him. I think his lack of match football and you know lack of game practice but you know it is what it is it's what we've come to accept these days that is the standard we have and that's the standard we have adhered to at the moment but as a united fan it's a frustrated season it's second position but the standard really has dropped unfortunately united have 19 points behind Manchester city the, the, the champions of the 217 2018 uh, season um, funny enough Blind played today he played well he gave a good account of himself Baye played in the middle he did a, he played he gave a good account of himself Luke Shaw came in not bad I mean overall I'll give the team a 6 out of 10 in terms of performance you know there's nothing spectacular uh, it wasn't a spectacle to watch it was just a it, it felt like a rehearsal for the FA Cup final next Sunday next Saturday sorry and um, I won't say I was excited, I wasn't like, but there, there, there were chances United had and there were times you thought like, oh, he's going through, he's through. And all he does, he does a 360, does a dance, tries to dribble and the opportunity is gone. I, I don't know if they're acting uh, uh, to instructions or just a player who's not sure he wants to go forward or he wants to go backwards. Sanchez today, 5 out of 10. Radford, 6 out of 10. Ma uh, Matic, I mean Mata, 6 out of 10. Romero, I'll give him a 7. Ashley Young, 6. Luke Shaw, 6. Um, Baye, 6. And, um, you know, I, 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 uh, McTominay, I'll give him a 6 out of 10. So there was no player who really stood out 
among the 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 outfield players. There's none of them who stood out spectacularly. Pogba I can't rate him because he came in too late in the game. Not enough. Carrick, I'll give actually because this is his last game. I'll give Carrick a 6.9 out of 10. If you're watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Give us a subscription if you haven't already subscribed. Make some comments on the match and tell us what you thought about the game today. And give notifications as well. Thank you very much, Trenton. Yes, if you get your no if you put your notifications on, you'll never miss a video from Soccer to Like It, the Man United direction. We're looking forward for the game next Saturday, FA Cup final match against uh, Chelsea. My prediction is Manchester United 2, Chelsea 1. Chinto, what's your prediction of the game against Chelsea next week? How many goals do you think we're going to score against Chelsea? Three. Three goals? Okay, that'd be nice, that'd be fantastic. I'll take a piece of that. Uh, anybody you wanted to score those three goals? Pogba, who else? Pogba, Matic, Sanchez or Rashford? Pogba, Matic and Rashford, you want them to score the goals against Chelsea next Saturday, FA Cup final, right? Right, soccer as we like it, the Man United direction will be here next Saturday watching the game, Cherry United. Don't forget to hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and, and don't, don't forget, forget to put your notifications on. Thank you very much, we'll see you next week.